the number of scams and hacks are on the rise. It's been reported all of the news. Even the biggest newspapers talk about this. And in general, cybercrime has been on the rise due to people working from home. You never know when your website ends up hacked. And since WordPress is the world's most popular CMS, a lot of hackers target WordPress as well. In this video, I'll share my five tips on how to protect your WordPress website because security is so important nowadays and you don't want to lose all that hard work that you put into your website just because somebody hacks your website. Tip sweat punch. Hello internet people, my name is Robert and on this channel I help website owners to run and grow their online businesses with digital strategy tips, website tutorials and tool reviews. So my first tip is simple to implement but so many forget to set this up. It's automatic backups, preferably somewhere external like uh, Dropbox or Google Drive because if your servers get hacked it's good that the backup files are not on the same server. Personally, I use a plugin called Updraft Plus for a tutorial how to install and set this up. You can check out the white YouTube card here somewhere on top. Now, this doesn't directly help with security, but if all goes wrong, you can always just restore your website from a backup. And this is something that your web hosting might ask. If they don't know how to fix it, they just ask for a backup. And if you don't have it, you're screwed. The second tip is to keep your WordPress and plugins updated. Basically, this uh, ensures that uh, you don't have any known vulnerabilities that hackers could exploit. WordPress community is quick to pick up on these kind of security updates and they happen very often. Sukuri reported in 2019 that over 56% of all CMS applications were out of date when hacks happened. So there is a lot of people that don't do this. You can set your WordPress to update uh, plugins automatically and here's how to do it. So this is my test website and here to update the WordPress itself, you click on update and you have here a link. Enable automatic updates for all new versions of WordPress. Then you need also the same for your theme. And if you go to appearance, themes and click on the theme that is active now, here you have a link. In my case, it says disable auto updates, but in your case, it will probably say enable auto updates. And then let's close this down. And then let's go to plugins and install plugins. Same thing for plugins you have here individually, you can enable them auto updates per plugin, or you instead you can just select all of them. And here in bulk actions, you can select enable auto updates. And then if you click on update, apply, it'll just enable the auto update. My third tip is to install a security plugin that also comes with a firewall. These plugins enable you to do integrity monitoring, malware scanning, two-factor authentication, and so on. You can use iTheme security or WordFence security uh, as your plugin. They are both available in WordPress plugin library. On the other hand, a firewall will block malicious traffic before it even reaches your website. Oh yeah, and uh, make sure you test your page speed after installing one of these tools. Some users have reported that their page load times have increased significantly, so you might need to try a few different ones. For more about iTheme security and how to set it up, click on the white YouTube card right here on top. Hey, if you like this video so far, consider hitting the like button because you help me to spread the word. The fourth tip is to prevent brute force attacks against your site. A plugin called Limit Admin Logins limits the login attempts to your WordPress admin dashboard. This will make it much harder to try to brute force your password. It's basically done with a computer and entering different options until they get it right. But this plugin puts you on timeout after three failed login attempts. And then it actually also reports that in a log. So you can see if somebody has tried to brute force your website. Now, one thing though, your security plugin might already have this feature. So maybe you won't need to install it separately but just double check that you have one. The fifth tip is not so much about WordPress, but just in general, you should use a password management software like LastPass to store most of your passwords just there. This way you can create a unique and long password for different websites, but you won't actually need to remember them. This plugin just basically always enters the passwords for you. Just make sure your password to the tool itself is strong enough and hard to guess and enable the two-factor authentication in LastPass. That means after you've entered uh, your login details, it will also ask you to authenticate yourself via an app or your phone. The two-factor authentication happens like once a month, so don't worry, you won't need to verify it every time you en enter a website. So it's super easy to use and I really recommend it. And having longer passwords is probably more important than using a lot of different characters in your password. This GIF here, it just illustrates it so well. 
If you want to learn how to install and configure iThemes security plugin, then check out this video right here. And if you want to improve your website loading speed with just one plugin, check out the video right here. Oops.